So, the gypsy's up. All right. So, first of all, every single solitary human being here should have had a very good week with me. There were every trade that I called worked. Okay. Every trade that I called worked. And there are, there are weeks like that. But to start off earning season this way and the year is pretty spectacular. And I, you know, I am extremely focused right now. Starbucks is trying to make another leg down. So if you're in it, it looks okay. Steve said yes, thank you so much. Some of you had extremely huge weeks. Uh, I received some emails from some of you and even the new students who just did the class. I mean, some, some of you are putting some really big numbers on the board. Uh, today, uh, I'll probably send out an email, but Gypsy emailed me. She made over $7,000 in the Netflix option with only six contracts. So, I mean, the, I mean, these are some, this is real, real money people. So it is not just me, you can do it too. Gypsy is a regular person. Tayoga had a big week his first week. So, you know, it's, there's, every person here should have had a positive week. I don't think anybody did it. Barry, I don't think you traded. And I'll have to talk to you later. But if you, if you don't trade, then you can't make money. Tayoga and ANTC made $400, still holding 500 shares, 48.50 stop. Okay. Yeah, I just, I think that could have been the morning move for this. Not that it doesn't have a secondary push with the market, but I just don't know what time the market gets going. And remember, it's Friday also, and it's been a good week, okay? I don't think it's problematic if you do things on your own, but I think when I'm calling such good calls, you really got to follow me um, if you want to get the benefit of being here. And if you choose to do later trades or secondary trades, I mean, that's fine. That's on you. Yesterday, I did right in the room before I left a second trade. What the heck was that one? NWL? Yeah. I did, I mean, this continued. I don't know if anybody did that second move then. I had not closed the room out yet. I was on the phone and then I wrote it in the room. It did have a second leg down. Did anybody do it? It did go pretty much to some crazy num number. It broke 24. So I called this here. If anybody was in the room, you could have done it. Uh, but I think everybody... But Gala had got that yesterday. And sometimes, like I said, if you press something and you can't get in immediately, uh, you know, then, then you can wait for a second setup or you take it. If it's run into the price, just grab it, keep pressing it with a different ECN, try to get in with a limit or a market order, however you can, and then put the stop in and lower your, your amount of shares if you don't get filled at the price that you want. Sometimes they reset up. In that case yesterday, that thing just fell. Market really looks higher. Market really looks higher. Market, I'm just throwing this out there and I don't know for sure, but the market could have a big green bar today. It's possible. We're setting up to break out. That's how this whole thing looks to me here, which I kind of thought we'd do at some point. Again, every day we have these nice green days, but nothing... Jimungo, you know, but we look like we're going to make a new high again today and everything. Um, well, I, I got your email, Gala, how are you going to try a different way to get in? You don't want to use limit orders and that's fine. Obviously today was a long, so I'm sure everyone got in this perfectly fine. Um, but, you know, we're aggressive on these trades, so most of the times we all get in. Obviously, everybody gets a different price. It's hard not to jump the gun sometimes. Sometimes some of you do, and then it works out, and sometimes I miss it. I got to take it later. It's, you know, it's one of these things. Anyways, the point is that everyone here had a good week, and you need to pat yourself on the back because obviously you did your own trades, even though I called good trades. So let's have a strong, you know, earning season.
get your head in order, get your goals together. You took the trade today from the level two with no problem. So there you go. Then that's what you do from now on. That's your thing. That's what you want to do. Whatever works. Any questions, any comments? The number one and most important thing is the focus. And I just truly believe it's that way with anything. Um, if the focus is there, you will succeed with my guidance 100%. If you're not focused, no amount of guidance that I gives you will help. So it really is up to you to be very focused on what you're doing. And obviously having a positive attitude about it and doing it and working through whatever issues you're having, whether they're it's getting filled or platform things or whatever, you know, you can get through those th kinds of things. It's not the end of the world. I truly believe that the highest chance for people to be successful is to come with me. I'm, I'm very good at what I do. I guess that's why I'm on TV. And, I, and I'm getting better. I'm going to give myself credit. I mean, I'm, I'm getting better. And some of these calls I'm making this year, I mean, you know, I just got to stay focused myself because sometimes, you know, I, I, it's a, I've got a lot going on and I have to think about what I'm doing in the moment, whether it's TV or stocks or talking to you people, you know, very happy about the way things are going. Tayoga says phenomenal calls, Melissa, thank you. Thank you for a fabulous week with a nice trade on no sleep. Thank you, Mountain Girl. Big Fudge, I wouldn't be long on WL. I don't know if you said that just to get my get me going here. <laughs> INTC is the long today. <laughs> and how crazy is it the way that people see things? Some trader put on Facebook, I saw it this morning, and asked if I was going to short INTC. And I didn't respond. But, you know, people, traders love to short these things thinking it's going to fill the gap. I mean, this was just an absolute long right at 48. You could have even done it in the pre-market. In fact, let's look at it. You, let's look and see if it, once it got over there, did it ever break it? Nope, it didn't. As soon as that stock got over 48, it never looked back. It's not going to either, I don't think. Look at that. Right there. So unusually wide stop there today, but just because, you know, the market wasn't 100% this morning, I felt like that's where we needed to put it. We need something a little different there. Uh, if you want a quick one, Starbucks looks like the quick one possibly if it drops. Well, I don't know about quick here. It's trying. But if it does drop and break the low, could have a big move down if 57 didn't get there yet. This is holding. My golly, it is holding. So wasn't crazy about where it opened. Made a call. Some of you, I guess, did it. And it, you, could, you could get back into it here now. I mean, this is a brand new setup in here if you want to do it. Um, but again, if you did INTC, I would just get out. But this is trying to break a second time. And, and the market really just looks higher to me in so many levels. Um, wanted to say one thing. Galahad, you had emailed me about something. I forget what it was. Hold on, let me find his email. And I thought I'd just talk about it in the room. Let me see if I can find it. Las Vegas Trader, are you here? No, he's not here. He must have signed out. Um, let me find... You asked some question and let me find it. Hold on. Oh, 
Oh, you were talking about day training versus options. And I just wanted to say one thing. Are you there, Galahad? Galahad, let me know you're there because I'm responding to your, to your question. And Barry, I believe this is your issue too if you're there listening to me because I know you didn't, you, you, you're really not day trading. So, um, actually this is setting up again if anybody wants to do a new trade. You can go long INTC right in here. You could put a tight, tight stop at 48.50 if you want to do it. Looks like it's going to push over the high again. Barry, go for it if you want it. Uh, the thing is that there's different times when there's a lot of option calls and then there's different times when there's not. So day trading is consistent where you get stuff consistently, way more consistently than the options calls. To rely solely on options calls, you're going to miss out on a lot of potential profit with the day trades. Right now, I've been making a, an obscene amount of option calls simply because they're there. But it's the conditions that lend itself to that. I can't say it'll be like that the end throughout the end of the year. In fact, I would be quite surprised if it would continue in that way, that there would be this many. But it goes in waves. So the day trade, look, at this is pushing over the high. What a nice call. It goes in waves. You got to stick with the day trading because it keeps you in the market. Even though some of these numbers on the board with the options seem, you know, so amazing. If you stick with a day trade, it's going to keep you fresh, reading charts, and you're going to have more consistent opportunities to do stuff. Plus, most of the option calls I've been making have been long, and you don't want to lose your edge in knowing how to read charts or shorting. The fact that you can make something like Gypsy made seven grand in an option is simply because of the fact that these stocks, where I'm calling most of these in, are huge, huge movers, okay? But they don't set up like that all the time. They don't set up like that every week. And, and, and that sometimes the cost just doesn't match up. When all stars are aligned, you do them. And they have been recently, which is why I've been making some great calls and a lot of you have capitalized on it. It's just really incredible. But it is not gonna be like that every day and every week and every month through this whole year of 2018, even though the market's gonna probably stay bullish all year. And I wouldn't even be surprised if the market power trended all year. I mean, that actually could be the reality of life and that will create a very difficult environment for, for, for traders of all kinds, options, swing, and day traders. It will be a very difficult environment if the market power trends all year. Not for me, but for a, most traders, I'd say 95% of the people that are out there, they won't know what to do. People that wanna go long will feel like it's too late. They will wait for pullbacks. We've had none yet this year. People will attempt to short, the short attempts will fail. You really got to be very specific when you're looking for weakness. Would have liked to see more of that in Starbucks today. Did rate it. It had one quick drop. It is trying so hard to break, but wanted, wanted to see something a little bit different here in this today. It, it's, it's, it, it had a move. You could have made money. You had to get out quick or you're, or you're waiting. I mean, you would still be up in here from this price point, but INTC was much easier. Anyways... You know, don't get lured into thinking about just doing options. The way to make money is really to do it all. And the day trading keeps you consistent. It keeps you having that edge of reading charts. And you don't want to get away from shorting because that's where there's a lot of huge potential as well. And the opportunities that are there, okay, that I've been calling are there right now. It is not a weekly thing. But it all adds up in the end and evens out where I might call three at once and they work huge and then we don't have any for another week or two and that's what it is. And remember, it's earnings season too. You'll be doing nothing in non-earnings season if you do only options, Galahad. I don't know what's killing you. The only thing that's killing you is your head not being on straight and you wanting to do these pullback things and I don't know what's killing you at all. I mean... I am just feeding you these trades every morning. And I mean, that's why I'm saying you really have to take responsibility. If, if I mean, this should be no excuse in my mind for every single person in here that's been in here consistently from January, whatever, till we open till now. And Gerard, when he was helping out, called good solid trades too. 
There's been two losses this whole year. It's only been a month, but that is, we're, you know, that's great. Day trading, we've had two losses since the start of the year. There's no excuse for you not to be up money. And Barry, there's no excuse for you not to be trading. So, you know, everyone should be up. In fact, some of you that are doing really well could even increase your risk if you want to. It's still earning season. All right, I am very tired. Let's look at what's out for Monday. And also, one should bankroll the other. You know, I know some of you have separate accounts, and that's fine, too. But, you know, if you, if you make 50 cents in a day trade move or a dollar or whatever, you know, it can help bankroll some of these options trades for some of you to be able to take more size. I have a feeling, and Gypsy can tell me if she wants in here, I have a feeling she's doing well with the day trading. So she's, you know, taking more risk in some of the options if it's paying off. And here's INTC making a brand new high again today. Uh, Monday morning, we have STX is the only thing I might like here. Let's take a look at it. This is Monday's watches. I don't know what's... Gal had if you are talking about anything past right now, you know, again, your head is very screwed up. Your head is just very, very screwed up. Nothing that you did in the past should even be of a concern to you. If you want to do well right now, get it together. That's it. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. You haven't been consistent. I mean, you just haven't been. At least you've been taking profits in the options trades. Thank goodness. But you've you've been you've not, haven't been consistent. You must be consistent. Let's look at STX. All right, so I don't know what this does. This is Monday morning. But, you know, again, we went long today. If we got to go long Monday, we'll do it. So I'll be looking at everything, uh, everything in both directions, unless something just screams at me that it's really good to the downside, which Starbucks really didn't today. And this did. This is the best gap. All right, I'm going to head out. I am tired. Have a wonderful weekend. I will see everybody on Monday morning. Okie doke. You're welcome. Boomers are going to be retiring, Koala Bear says. As they start cashing in their equities, could bring the market down at some point, which would be good for shorting skills. There's no signs the market's coming in or co coming down. There's no signs the market's going anywhere but up. And congratulations, Gypsy. She had a huge day yesterday. All right, see you all on Monday.